Hello Aries. Welcome to your reading Aries. Let's see what spirit wants you to know. We have growth, apology, Someone wants to make amends with you, Aries. They want to say sorry. I feel this person wants to prove that they are grown up. <laughs> okay, that they've changed. But I also see seeing you outgrown certain situations and people and matters. Let's see, what do we have balanced? Oh, yeah, you are very grounded. For some of you might be focusing on you know on your work very balanced very grounded beautiful energy and we have home so we are attracting stability here for some of you might be thinking of moving house of you uh, recently moved house and you're organizing things but home it's this energy of stability comfort you know so you're attracting this here aries very nice you can expect some sort of offer and i feel this is an offer of an apology to be perfectly honest with you that's what it's showing up but also i feel someone yes i feel that someone will come and ask for your forgiveness or they will say sorry or they will do something that they will try to kind of you know bring more uh kind of easy energy to the situation or make peace with you but offer this is a gift some sort of form of an offer it's coming to you aries can be a date, even offer of commitment. We'll see. What do we have for you? So yes, communication, clarity, communication of communication that will bring um, clarity to the situation. Someone here wants to talk and they want to express their truth. Someone wants to clear the air with you, and um, and express their point of view, their truth. What else we have an ace of cups so already two aces we have this is a new beginning in love opportunity for fulfillment and happiness what else we have for aries please new new energy is coming forward so far for you aries something new queen of wands we are attracting lots of attention here Aries, you might be dealing with Leo, Sagittarius, and other Aries, but people are naturally drawn to you, they want to be around you. And someone here puts you on a pedestal as well. Aries, what else we have? What else we have for Aries, please? Okay, we have a three of swords. There is a sense of disappointment, dissatisfaction. Someone here broke your heart or something with the Three of Swords, but I feel that you are detaching from it. You might be still kind of thinking about this situation, reminiscing about certain opportunity, but I feel slowly you are focusing on the new. We have a nine of swords. This is an energy of an anxiety, stress. Something or someone is giving you a headache here. You are stressing. We'll clarify your cards. Or oh, you are worried about something here, Aries. We have a four of pentacles. All right, okay. Someone doesn't want to let you go, Aries. <laughs> Five of Cups at the bottom of the deck. There is a sense of regret, lost opportunity, not being fully happy. Yeah, I feel that you are quite nostalgic, Aries. There might be a case for some of you. There is a this energy of yeah, memories. Something here feels like a lost opportunity, but it's not. 
it will come back to you, Aries. Love, it's still there. Someone with whom you might have history, with your friend, it can be your friend, your sibling, uh, some sort of past situation, a person that you were in a relationship or have a um, romantic uh, history with. This person uh, doesn't want to let you go with the Four of Pentacles. And they will send you a message. This is someone who wants to be in touch with you. So if you feel sad about this particular situation, because there might be a no contact situation between the two of you, you can be reassured here, Aries, that this person will, will, will reach out. They will reach out. And with the Six of Cups, they might even ask you for an apology. Uh, not ask you. They will want to apologize to you. I'm sorry. They will ask for your forgiveness. Oh, gosh. <laughs> okay. So this is a collective reading, Aries, for your sign. So please take what resonates and how it resonates for your situation, okay? This is an overall energy. And now I will clarify your cards. So we will have many stories here and many scenarios. Because I want you to get the most from this reading. Let's see, why the Ace of Swords for Aries? Knight of Swords. And we have the Lovers. Mm -hmm. So there is a particular, I feel, connection that you might share with someone. Okay. And this person really wants to talk to you. They're rushing in with the Lovers. They, they, I feel this person... Um, will explain themselves to you but you will gain clarity about this particular situation with the lovers yeah there is love there is love this is someone who has feelings for you they have love for you they want to kind of clear the air they want to bring some stuff they want to explain themselves they might momentarily come across a little bit too strong, you know, but this is only because I feel this person feels desperate to kind of make amends with you. You might be dealing with Gemini. Why the Ace of Cups for Aries? Why the Ace of Cups for Aries, please? Why the Ace of Cups for Aries? Ace of Pentacles, three aces, my gosh. This is um, good luck, you know, prosperity, abundance, beautiful sign. And we have a Knight of Pentacles. Yes, there will be a new opportunity in love, Aries. It's coming to you, opportunity for stability. It's slow and steady with the race. For some of you, it might be a case that when this person will show up, you might be kind of, uh, because of some sort of heartbreak here, you might be feeling, yeah, well, I, I, for now I'm done with love. I, I really, I just want to be left alone. I want to kind of heal with, yeah, you see, hermit, being by your own. You want, for some of you, you just want to be left alone <laughs> and have a time for yourself in order to figure out certain things. You may be dealing with Virgo here, Aries. But um, this Knight of Pentacles, it, 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 it's, it's kind of showing this attitude that they are here and they are going nowhere. So this is someone I feel who will express themselves and say that I understand. If you need time, I'm willing to kind of wait for you. This is a big opportunity for happiness and fulfillment. And this person is coming here with an offer, you see? That offer is here. So you, this is a new beginning in love. This is a new energy. I feel that you will meet someone here who will, uh, who will just wait for you, because they see you as a, as a potential for happiness, fulfillment, and a long-term partner. You know, in a long-term relationship. Beautiful, beautiful energy here. Aries. Why the Three of Swords? Why the Three of Swords? For Aries. Why the Three of Swords, please? Why 
on the Three of Swords. We have a Hermit, so Virgo energy, and we have a Page of Cups. Yes, someone here, you might be dealing with Taurus. I feel, Aries, that there was a particular connection for some of you. You might even be married to this person with the Hierophant, but things didn't work out. For some of you, this individual here, uh, they appeared being very serious, uh, very knowledgeable, but at the end they didn't have here much to offer with this page of cups. A little bit of love, a little bit of affection, but not fully, not enough, let's say it that way. And I feel this person kind of present themselves as someone who means business, you know, that they are there for you, that they are smart, that they are very intelligent, that they've been through a lot, similar experience here. And I feel this person um, promised you something and they didn't deliver. For some of you, this person promised you marriage, long-term relationship, but at the end it was a lie because at the very beginning this person didn't have much to offer and it caused here heartbreak tears emotional pain because something here looked good it had a potential to be very beautiful but this person um, I feel they sold you a lie Why the Nine of Swords for Aries? Why the Nine of Swords for Aries? We have an Eight of Cups, Six of Pentacles. What is this? Okay. I see. So we have an Eight of Cups, Six of Pentacles. This Nine of Swords is clarified by Eight of Cups and Six of Pentacles, yes. Then we have a Ten of Swords, we have a King of Swords, Justice, Five of Wands, oh, Five of Swords. Oh my gosh, yeah, it, 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 it's, it's showing here a very, very challenging situation. Something here ended and it was a painful ending when it comes to your emotions. Someone betrayed your trust. It felt like being stabbed in the back metaphorically. This person created obstacles, issues, drama. They played mind games. Very, very kind of a unhealthy uh, dynamic they created. You, you might be dealing with Libra. I also have Aquarius here, Aries, um, Gemini. Strong Libra, it's coming forward. This person um, walked away. This is someone who disconnected. With the Six of Pentacles, this person breadcrumbed you. Mm -hmm. I feel that you might be still thinking about it, moment, you know, you might be coming back to those memories and it makes you feel quite sad. This is, this is an energy of being emotionally hurt. You are very balanced here, you are grown certain situations and people but it doesn't mean that certain things still doesn't you know make you feel sad that's only natural but it shows here that someone has been someone here has been very difficult they they were giving you headache and i feel they they were stressing you out they were causing you an anxiety you didn't know what to expect from this person and with the swords energy it's showing me here someone who can be quite quite strong with their words with the five of wands and five of swords yes we have double five this is someone who created obstacles they played mind games and they were very argumentative this is someone who was arguing for the sake of argument and trying by all costs prove that they are right mm. very challenging energy that made you pro what i'm seeing here that made you feel so tired and exhausted and emotionally depleted 
it's still there because I feel that momentarily you might be thinking about it. Let's see, why the Six of Cups for Aries? 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 We have an Ace of so Aries. Six of Cups clarified by the Ace of Wands, Hierophant. Knight of Wands. Yeah, someone here wants to reconcile with you. You might be dealing with Taurus indeed. Knight of Wands. This is someone with whom you were in a relationship, Aries. This person wants to come back, they want to apologize. But that represents this Knight of Wands, again, inconsistent energy, very much in and out. This is someone who, you know, want relationship, but I don't know if they, I don't see them delivering on that, on this. But I can tell you that you are in a relationship with this individual, with the Hierophant. They want to come back here but they are bringing inconsistency. This is a player energy, immature. I'm getting that this is this energy that we were talking about. This person didn't have much to offer. Mm -hmm. I feel that they will say, oh, I want things to be different now. I want relationship, I want, be with you and all of it but they are coming with the knight of wands immature energy childish playing games player energy do you know what it's getting to me i mean what i'm getting here aries is someone who likes uh when they get something they are not interested they are they are losing their interest they're getting distracted very easily it's like a kind of, a, I don't know what sort of energy of a, someone who, who likes to kind of... It shows someone who is very charming, who is good looking, but they are coming here with the night energy. We have, you know, page of cups. This is someone who doesn't have much to offer, who is very in and out and who loves playing mind games. Uh, I, to be perfectly honest with you, Aries, I don't like this energy because I feel this person caused you so much stress and they, was, they, they, they were draining your energy and I feel that at the end you were just exhausted. They are coming back here telling you that they really want to change the circumstances between the two of you. They want to have a new beginning. They want to have a proper relationship with you. But at the end of the day, they are just a knight of wands. They are player very in and out someone who very easily can get distracted and who has distraction knight of cups yeah expression of feelings love why the eight of wands for aries please the fool the moon For some of you, you might be traveling, Aries. Seven of Wands, the Emperor. This is your energy. Nice, at the bottom of the deck. Oh, changes, changes are coming. Very nice. Yes, I feel that you are taking back control. You are taking back your power and you're going to implement certain changes here with the death card you've changed you know Aries I see it you are stepping into your power with this Emperor because this is your energy you are in your element you might be dealing with Scorpio also have Pisces energy more Aries and also Aquarian energy you have grown certain situations 
and I feel you do want change. With this Eight of Wands and the Fool, you can expect here some sort of new beginning, new beginning, new approach, a new kind of outlook when it comes to a particular situation and also quite nice communication. With this Moon energy and Seven of Wands, I feel that you are just protecting yourself from anything or anyone that, they, that, they, that can bring some sort of uh, uncertainty because you might be feeling that you've been way too long stuck in a certain situation that was so difficult and you are done. You want to now be balanced and you are. You want to heal and you want a new beginning and this new beginning it's coming. We have four aces throughout this reading for you Aries. This is like jackpot. This is good luck, good fortune and he and the full new beginning transformation with the death card things going to change and you will meet someone here aries who will be willing to wait for you and this this individual is coming with an offer offer of stability And I feel you taking here a big stand and you are protecting yourself from anything that can bring some sort of uncertainty that can, you know, bring anxiety. You don't want to be anymore in this sort of energy. You just don't want this. You want to approach uh, certain matters and situations, relationship. You want new, you want new and that's it. Because you've changed. You've changed. And this energy that causes you this emotional upheaval, it's coming. They are stuck on you. They don't want to let you go. But ultimately, it will be your choice if you want to uh, give this person another chance or if you are if you want to detach and focus on the new Aries but you can be reassured that this past energy it's coming we have Mercury retrograde I mean we're going to enter this kind of energy so those those people from the past who feels unfinished business they're going to come you know they're going to at some point come back and probably be giving another chance. And this is exactly what it's shown here, what it's showing here, Aries. So big changes, good luck, good fortune overall, you can expect really. And I feel that you are, you are protected, you are protected, you are divinely guided. And there will be a choice, I feel Aries. But choice is yours, what to do with this past energy. Okay. I will leave it here, Aries. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And I truly hope, you know, that this reading was of help. Once again, Aries, thank you very much for your time. I truly appreciate you. Aries, have a wonderful day. Take care. Thank you, Aries. Bye.